everybody who knows music knows that voice. I mean, it's like trying to just disguise Aretha Franklin's voice or James Brown. Nothing Ooh. with Martha Wash. Yeah. Oh, that's the bomb right there. And, uh, Say, I'm excited I am today because I'm about to go and you know work with one of the, like the greatest divas of all time, um, who has hit me history since the '70s, working with Sylvester, working with Two Tons of Fun, and then becoming the legendary Martha Wash. And you've heard on. Get that song, the power of the song, out of there. You know, women like Jocelyn Brown, Martha Wash. You know, it was the key to the whole thing. You know, was, I wrote some simple things, but they made it really intense. I have this chance to paint colors with her voice. I gotta go there. It's a moment where I just gave her that type of sexy vibe. <laughs> instrument of soul and it flows out really no yeah. would you just, just uh, say everybody sing that part that, so they'll know <laughs> if you can hit that note Because, you know, I, I know, uh, for instance, CNC Music Factory, um, Factory, Martha Wash was the singer on that record. And when we saw the video, we saw a very, you know, cute little dark-skinned child singing the song, which we knew it wasn't her. I certainly knew it wasn't, it wasn't her because I know Martha Wash from years ago, and the woman can sing, and you can't mistake that voice. So to me, it was like, well, wow, you know, you, you, you made a hit song off of this woman's voice. How come we can't see her? What's the big deal? Because she's a heavy set woman with a beautiful face and this gigantic, fabulous, tremendous, rock kicking ass voice. What's the you problem? You think of Mahalia Jackson, Aretha Franklin, Patti LaBelle. You think of Martha Wash in that same vein. That true black gospel experience. That's 